I've been here at the COP representing the project ecosystem-based uh, approach to adaptation, strengthening the evidence and the informing policy. And this is in collaboration with IUCN and the UNEP WCMC. So I've been going to different site events, speaking to students, policymakers, practitioners who are very interested in ecosystem-based adaptation. And our research has been well received in a way that it really helps all of us here to understand how we can translate the NDCs into practices and how we can harmonize our ambition to sustain our global carrying capacity and also help the community on the ground to adapt to climate change. So the practices and the research framework that under this project we developed to understand the effectiveness of EBA in 12 countries, 13 different projects, has been really useful for a lot of the practitioners as well as policymakers to understand how they can translate some of their policy ambitions into implementation and then how to monitor and, the evidence, and collect the evidence of that effectiveness and scale up the ecosystem-based adaptation. And I think this has been a real need in here, especially in the bond zone, which I have the batch to, um, to, to reflect that collectively we have been doing so much, but then how do we scale up? How do we then use that information to influence what is happening in the Bula zone? And a lot need to be done beyond COP, uh, within the project and with our partners to ensure that we can keep communicating those evidence and help the communities on the ground to adapt. What has been especially interesting is the discussion of how to finance some of the implementations on the ground. And there's uh, been talking to different donors, but also private sectors that are interested in thinking about how collectively we can finance some of the great solutions already appearing on the ground. I think there's a still a great gap in mobilizing some of the finances where money actually matters, but we've seen some of the innovation that is happening here at the COP, and it would be great to keep exploring in the Climate and Development Day, where one of the key things is thinking about the finances and how we can mobilize funding for those activities.